We are talking uh, to you tonight from Omaha, Nebraska. A number of the relatives uh, from Oklahoma, a number of the relatives from Nebraska came together today to hear the verdict in the Scotty Payne case. He was, as many of you know, charged with felonious assault in the tasering death of Zachary Bearheels, a Kiowa relative, on June uh, 5th, 2017. We're here tonight to reflect a little bit on uh, some of the things we heard today and to lament the fact that Scotty Payne was found not guilty. And evidently, uh, it is uh, not a crime in the Omaha, Nebraska, or it's not out of the ordinary for the Omaha Police Department to take a mentally ill man and taser him 12 times and hit him 13 times. They found that within their authority and they found him not guilty today. Naturally, as a Winnebago from Nebraska, I live here, and I'm very much taken aback by this. I'm embarrassed as a, as a Nebraskan. I am beside myself, and I'm just going to send a word out to Indian country that we all have to pay attention to our Kiowa relatives, and we're going to have to speak out loud and long because I have an idea this is not happening only in Omaha to our Kiowa relatives. It's happening around the country. They're doing this, they're victimizing, they're dehumanizing our men, our women, they're killing us. And I'm not young anymore, but I'm very angry. I've had enough of it. And I'm going to do what I can in Omaha, Nebraska to change things from here on out. There's a lot of work that's left to be done. Two individuals who were charged in the death of Zachary Bear Heels and uh, 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 McClarty is going to be coming to trial very soon, and we're going to prepare for that. I'm very disturbed, very crushed, very hurt by what I saw today. But uh, and, and but what we're going to do is we're going to regroup and we're not going to go away. I want to share this with Indian country. I've come to know that they do this to us. We get angry, we pump our fists in the air, then we go away. And so they continue to do it starting right now. Today in Omaha, Nebraska, we're not going away. This has to stop clear across the country. And it's going to start in Omaha, Nebraska. Very simply, with all due respect, Omaha must pay. I live here. I can say that. Omaha is going to have to pay for this and for what they did to the, our Kiowa relative. And that's what brings us here today. And I'm just uh, sending out uh, notice, sending out a plea to all of Indian country that we're going to have to mobilize and come together on this. I'm also going to chide all of you looking in. I'm going to chide... Uh, the Kiowa relatives, going to chide the Lakota relatives, going to chide the Winnebago relatives. We were in court today uh, trying to give voice to Zachary Bearheels, and none of you were there. We talk about these things. We pump our fist in the air. We talk about sovereignty. We talk about all of these issues, all these things we want to change. We have a chance to stick up for ourselves, a young man who they killed, and we weren't there. Very disturbed by that. And I'm, as, as quickly as we call out the city of Omaha, uh, call out Douglas County, call out the state of Nebraska, we need to call out ourselves. We were not there. The Kiowa relatives, the Kiowa women were there today. We're the men. We're the Lakota men. And I'm, I'm angry by that. And it's time for us to quit talking a good game and act. Take care of our relatives. Take care of those. They're doing this to, even tonight, somewhere in Indian country. So I'm beside myself. I'm angry. I'm going to stay angry. Uh, I marched a hundred times. I'm tired of it. Sometimes we get tired, tired of marching, tired of trying to fight for justice. All of us need to come together, stop, and, and, and do something. And I'm asking us to do that tonight. Renita, what was going through your mind today as you awaited the verdict? During the trial, sitting there, watching the videos and listening, listening to them testify about Zachary's pain. As a mother, I know my child. He was in pain pulling his hair, hearing him say, ouch, that hurts me because that's where it all started. That was very painful me, for me to hear my son say them words 
and also as a mother you know your child you know your child's crying the hurt and the pain that he was going through I know this because I raised him mm-hmm. when he was a baby as a mother you'll never forget how you know your children your mm-hmm. child and it was very hard for me to sit in that courtroom mm-hmm. to hear all this and hear him hollering for help. Mm-hmm. And also, I can't breathe. As mother, sitting there, that hurt me the most to see that in that courtroom. Mm-hmm. And then today, the verdict, not guilty. Scotty Payne, what if you had a mental ill child? You would have the same feelings like my child, what took place with the police officers. That hurts me as a mother. Put yourself in my position as a parent, knowing your child, seeing that video, the help, the crying, him being tased, he was in pain. My baby was in pain. I want to share something that I heard today, and I've heard it throughout this trial, and it troubles me quite a lot as a Native man. It troubles me as, a, as also as a father. And that's what she said about knowing her child better than anybody else knows her child. And nobody can dispute that. And I think that's extremely important, and I think we need to think about that. All of us looking in, all of us dealing with the aftermath of this, of, of this decision by the jury today. I want to point out to you that uh, something that we've, we've told ourselves that on... Uh, June the 5th, 2017, on 60th and Center Street here in Omaha, there was nobody who needed help as much in the city of Omaha, as much in Douglas County, as much in the state of Nebraska as Zachary Bearheels did. He needed help, and this is what we did to him. And we did this to him under the color of law. And I'm going to share with you that you know, when, when, when this is over and done with, when the trial of pain, the trial of McClarty, the questions we're going to ask of the Omaha Police Department, and, and when we're done with that, we're going to find out the true story of what really happened there. And I don't think that it's, it's going to, I, I don't think it's going to serve uh, Omaha very well. I think that uh, this was deliberate on the part of Scotty Payne. I heard in the courtroom, and what I gleaned from it is he did this, uh, some of this tasering, he did it to teach him a lesson. Scotty Payne, the city of Omaha, determined that they would be judge, jury, and executioner. And I'll be less than charitable, but I'm happy to say that, and I stand by that. And I think when it's all over and done with, the tasering 12 times, handcuffed and hitting him with an open fist 12 times, I think we're going to find out that this young man was brutalized. And he was brutalized under the color of law. And I want to tell the city of Omaha, and I want to tell all Americans, get ready. The standard's set now. They can taser you up to 12 times. And that's what law enforcement is that's the feeling they're going to have about this thing right now. This was a dark day, not just for Native people, not just for Native people in Omaha, Nebraska, but all people in Omaha, all people in Nebraska, people across this country. I watched, uh, I can find no other way to describe it. I watched these people from this taser industry. I watched these taser whores get up on the stand, paid tens of thousands of dollars to be able to say that the use by the police department of deadly force of this taser, that it was uh, it, 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 it was justified. I watched that, and I'm going to remember that quite a lot. I'm going to remember that for a long time, and all of us as Americans and Nebraskans better look at that because we set a standard. Somebody's going to get tasered tonight in this country, 
And I think somebody's going to get tasered tomorrow. Omaha sent a message to the whole country. Go ahead and taser them. Kill them if you want to. You know, we'll justify it in court. We'll bring out our taser whores, and they know who they are. And that's how I feel about it, and that's, what all native, that's how all Native people should feel about this. That's exactly what happened. The man most in need of service, most in need of help, this is what we did to him. I will say it again. I've said it to the family. I've said it over and over because I can find no other way to characterize it. We talked from a Christian point of view, from a traditional point of view. Uh, the Creator gave us Jesus Christ. The Creator gave us Crazy Horse. The Creator gave us Zachary Bear Heels. We didn't take care of them. I can put it no other way to all the relatives looking in. We did not take care of him. He cried out that night. Nobody heard him, but we heard him today, his mother, his relatives. I heard him, and Omaha is going to hear that for a long time to come. I'm going to make sure of that. I'm going to ask, who's going to join me? Who's going to talk about what we're going to need to do, and who's going to do it? Whether they're from Nebraska around Indian country, who's going to help? We talk a good game, and I'm tired of this, you know, and I know that tomorrow people are going to say, yeah, right on, do it right on, I'm with you, I'm with you. We hear that. I didn't see anybody with the women relatives today, and that bothers me. And I think <coughs> all of Indian men looking in, we're going to have to toughen up, you know, and quit talking a good game. They're doing this to our women. They're doing this to our young people. And we've got, to, we've got to come to that realization. It's never been worse than this when they can justify taking and under the color of law executing one of our people on the streets of Omaha. 58 seconds, 50,000 volts. There were burns on his body. Nobody talked about that. They killed him. Pure and simple. They did it under the color of law, but we're not done. This family's not done. I'm not done. I vowed to the mother today that I'm stubborn. You know, this bothers me. We'll stay with this until the end, because I don't go away. And neither should the rest of us. We, instead of going away, we need to come together and do something to change this. I want to, as a Nebraskan, apologize to the Oklahoma relatives, apologize to the Kiowas, Something maybe perhaps we didn't do here that we need to do now. Make it safe for all of our people, native and non-native, on the street. We'll start that tomorrow, and we'll get something done. We've got to have changes in the Omaha Police Department. God forbid this happen again. Uh, we don't check the police department. It will happen again. And I'm going to talk with the mayor, the chief of staff, the chief of police this week. And I'm going to ask for changes. I heard things during this trial, mm -hmm. how they looked at Zachary Bearheels, how all the police department dehumanized him. Well, we're going to change that starting tomorrow. And we're not going to quit until we're assured that they're going to treat us well. And when we need help, they're going to give us help. And so that's what we'll see if we can do. But I apologize to the relatives. We'll do the best <coughs> we can now to make things right. I simply want to say it was, a, it was a dark day for Omaha. They'll remember this day, I think, for a long time in Indian country and in the city of Omaha. We're going to look back years from now and see what we did here today, and we're going to be ashamed of it. I really believe that. I said something today, and I want to say it again. You know, the, we're going to, you know, the ghost of Zachary Bearheels going to wander these streets of Omaha forever. He will be asking us for help. He's going to cry out and see if somebody is going to give him that help. That's how I see things. I'm not young. That's how I see things. And I also want to share with everybody looking in and with the family that this is way bigger than we are. I do not understand what this is about. If, uh, I would not be smart enough if the Creator told me what it was about. I'm not smart enough to understand. But I think Zachary Bearheels was sent here as a teacher if we would learn 
He was sent here to make things better in our families, our extended families, in our communities, our nations, if we would learn. We have to start learning now. We have to come together and protect ourselves. The Creator, and not the city of Omaha, not the state of Nebraska, not the United States of America, the Creator, give us this land. Nobody else did. And they're trying to take all this land from us. We know that. And now they feel they can take our life. This is the start, I think, of our fight for life. More than a fight for justice, it's a fight for life. They justified taking a life today. And we need to see it for what it is. We're worried about those environmental issues, and I can understand that. And as important as that is our own lives, and that's what's at stake now. Time to get tough. Time to quit talking tough and get tough as Native people. We'll do that. I will. The relatives that I've seen from Oklahoma, they will too.